Hey guys, it's Amber and I wanted to share with you my 2018 Project Life album which I've been working on completing. So have not done anything with the binder yet. I'm not actually sure it's going to stay in this album but for now it's my holding place. It's a Becky Higgins album. So I have my page opener here. I have a couple Kelly Perky cards which is all four of these and then an Allie Edwards card. Allie Edwards word wood veneer and some chipboard. So I started out just one through five on a little card here saying what age we were, uh, what um, Jared, where my boyfriend and I were working at the time, and what age and grade the kids are in at school right now. So just some pictures from the previous year of all of us that I used. So I consider myself an event scrapbooker. I don't, we don't have the kids every day. We get them like about every other weekend. And we're not always taking pictures when it's just us hanging out at our house. So I scrapbook the events and things that we do. So uh, for some continuity, I have some Elle's Studio monthly cards that I use this year. So January through December, there's one of those for every month. I don't consider my, like, I don't limit myself to monthly layouts. I just do scrapbooks for what we do and when we do them. So I've got some orchestra concert little six by eight insert here and some band concert stuff. Both girls are in two different events, but I put all the pictures together. So I use some of the Allie Edwards learn, like start today, never stop learning, start where you are cards and mixed in some other musical related things. And then here we had Valentine's day. I have my boyfriend supposed to journal there. I have to have him finish that. So just some Valentine's Day things for the kids. Here's a six by eight insert showing where we went to Duck Donuts. It was one of our first times going. We have Easton's Pinewood Derby with Boy Scouts. And this year he wasn't in blue and gold anymore so I had to find some new colors to scrap with. So just showing him with his ribbons, reading while everybody else is doing their thing. And then his whole troop. And then this is actually the blue and gold banquet for the same Boy Scout troop. So it kind of just flows right in there. I have his little booklet here. And then we took a little weekend trip to New York City. So I have some Kelly Perky stamps on this New York card. Some chipboard from Allie. And then some Allie Edwards digitals at the top there. That's the studio, or sorry, Becky Higgins Design G page protector. It's one of my favorites because you can do horizontal and verticals together. So we took them to Big Gay Ice Cream. So we have pictures of them ice cream in this card from LA Studio, I believe. Went to Eadley for dinner. So that's some pictures of us eating with like, we were really high up. So some fun scenes in the background. And then we surprised the kids with tickets to go see SpongeBob. So copy of our tickets, our playbill. They have actual signed copies for meeting the cast, which was really cool. Pictures from inside. And there's a picture of all the signed playbills outside the stage door and then them meeting quite a few people from the main cast so it was pretty cool and then we spent the night and the next day we took them to sky zone on the way home so i have a lot of blue and orange here because that's the colors these are both kelly perky cards and those are both ellie's studio cards and then here we're running into easter so we're dying Easter eggs. That's a Studio Calico marketing card that I was able to use there. And then pictures of the kids' baskets. Doing an egg hunt at our house. And even a scary story involving an ambulance because one of them fainted and tripped on the porch and hit her head. So we had to have her checked out. So more stuff here in April. We went out for mini golf. Sorry, that's my cat meowing in the background. And then a story of us getting some new bikes. And then here we went to Kalahari Resorts. I believe that was um, for Memorial Day, so I used the May card there. And then I have the whole spread. Loved using all those fun teal colors. And then just some arts and crafts, some fun frozen drinks and things. I have a little mat from the park. And then this is one of my favorite ways to do 
uh, vertical photos is to cut off one of the last rows here when you don't have quite enough photos, but you need verticals. And here in June, we got some new turtles. They're huge now, but back then it's fun to see how little they were. And then here I have an actual layout with a story just about how the kids are getting older now and they don't have princess bedding anymore. And then Caitlin had a dance recital. So these were all cards and stickers and papers that were in like a little mini kit that I got. And then I just added the two pictures of her there. And then in July, we went to one of our favorite amusement parks in Pennsylvania called Knobles Grove. And I got to use some really fun bright color cards for this layout. So just pictures of us going on all our favorite rides. Cypher Hush. And some more of those. And then here I have like a see-through pocket using one of the Allie Edwards travel kit pieces from last year from her notepad. So that's July. And then in August, here's us celebrating my birthday, making cake, uh, cupcakes, going out to dinner. And just a little bit of journaling on the back, showing all of our birthday celebrations, some cards from the kids in here, and an eight and a half by 11 insert. And then here was Easton's birthday in September. So I'm celebrating him. And here in October, some decorations around the house. And then the girls' birthdays in October, they're twins. And then I actually waited and used the marketing card on this side because there's gray in the wrapping paper. So I thought it went better on this side. So just some fun pictures of them opening their presents. They got Yetis and they're 11. So like, look at that excitement from getting a Yeti. It was hilarious. And then we spent a weekend and we went to School of Rock in New York City. So I have some happy birthday cards and then like some travel stories and stamps. And here I created a little tiny six by eight insert for the playbill in the back. But then just so I could put a vertical photo in, show our ticket and some chipboard and rubber pieces. And then we went out to dinner after the show was over. And then this is just another different event where she was playing with a pottery wheel at home. And then some, spending some time together in November, just a basic simple day. hanging out and these are actually some new cards from the listen kit and the move kit from Allie and here in December we have a trip to New York to go see a Cirque show that was really cool and then my boyfriend's birthday and then we have decorating our Christmas tree pictures of the kids that we ended up taking that ended up being our Christmas card photos Just some more of us hanging around the house. Here was the weekend before Christmas Eve. We went to my family's and one of my uncles dressed up as Santa. So all the kids get Christmas PJs. We made gingerbread houses. And then this is on Christmas. I was dying to use this card for my December daily, but I never did. So I'm glad I used it here because it had the 2018 and it's like a rose gold finish. It looks so pretty. So that's us on Christmas. And then a few verticals. And this card is actually double-sided. It has that same rose gold finish and then red on the back. And then the day after Christmas with playing with their games, having some snowman pancakes, and just kind of relaxing around the house. Really simple. Didn't even really do a lot of embellishing, but I just wanted to get the book finished. I was avoiding the month of December because in the beginning of the year, I did three December daily albums and I was christmas out. So this way it is done. 2018 is finished. And now I can start working on getting caught up on 2019. Thanks so much for watching.